sales and marketing agency Acosta has released new research about the grilling habits and preferences of U.S. shoppers. The research study indicated that grilling goes beyond traditional summer barbecues, with 61% of respondents saying they bring the grilling experience to the tailgate, highlighting just one way this method of cooking has gained year-round popularity. An online survey revealed that tailgaters base their menu and food selection on several factors, including personal preference and taste, the amount of effort to prepare, and the amount of time to prepare the food. Grillers purchase the foods and ingredients for their tailgates at mass merchandisers, local grocery stores, and club stores. For more on this and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. In other news, 2016 FDA seafood refusals continue to climb. Here's Seafood News Editor Michael Ramsang with the story. In July, the FDA refused 197 line items of seafood from entering the U.S. market, a 33% increase from last July. Seafood refusals for the year now stand at 1,276 line items, a 29% increase from 2015 figures at this time. On average, the FDA is refusing 182 seafood line items per month, which is also 29% over last year's monthly average at this time. Unlike last year, when shrimp was far and away the top rejected seafood item, lobster, snapper, mahi, and tuna shipments have been all key drivers in higher FDA rejections in 2016. Filth has been the top reason for seafood ref refusals and is responsible for 68% of total rejections this year. These figures continue to confirm expectations that the FDA would reject more seafood in 2016 based on a higher rate of inspections. Read our full seafood refusal analysis and get monthly FDA rejection data sets by signing up to Ernerberry's Foreign Trade data service. Thanks Mike. Next up, poultry market reporter Terrence Wells is here with the latest analysis on the chicken market. The chicken market has seen plenty of action over the last month despite it being the dog days of summer. Tenders are currently valued at $2.07 per pound, which is about 5% below where they were a month ago, but still 21% above the three-year average. Jumbo breast meat is listed at $1.53 per pound, about 10% higher than where it was in mid-July. Cutting stock wogs have stabilized, but plenty of damage was done over the last month. Market values have declined $0.22 cents per pound since July 10th and $0.30 cents per pound since the start of June. Jumbo wings are priced exactly where they were in mid-July, but sources close to the action anticipate that this market is getting ready to take off. Thanks, Terrence. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high-definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.